In 2027 Kyoto, we see Katakaji Naomi, a bookworm reading a book on its way to school. Being the introvert he is, he doesn't have many friends and is very indecisive in everything. Due to his indecisiveness, he is chosen by his class to represent the class for library duty and can't refuse. In the library committee meeting, they exchange their contact information. Katagaki is particularly interested in one of the girls there but is too afraid to ask for her contact. With only two persons left, Katagaki dared himself to ask for the contact information of the other girl there, Ichiji Ruri. However, she seems to be very clueless about technology and gives him her address instead. Life goes on with Katagaki reading books at the library a lot. On his way home, suddenly Aurora appears in the sky, and a weird crow with three legs shows up and take one of his books. He chases it to the famous Fushimi Inari of Kyoto. The crow drops it, but the scenery suddenly changes as weird memories come into his head and colorful lights gather with a man emerging from within the lights. The white-hooded man seems to recognize Katagaki, but he immediately runs away from him. He escapes to the train, but the man is already waiting by the station. Katagaki is also surprised to know that he is the only one capable of seeing the man, which make him curious about the man's identity. The scene changes to the morning, he immediately wakes up thinking that it was all a dream, but he still sees the man and the crow from yesterday. The man asks him to go to Kyoto's History Records Center. There, he participates in the tour explaining that there has been a project to record everything happening in Kyoto in unlimited quantum storage called the Altail. Honestly, I feel that nowadays, they just put the word quantum in everything. Anyway, they go to a nearby river where the man shows him how there are drones everywhere recording the details of all the things happening there. Suddenly, one of the drones falls and hits Katagaki. The man tells him that the drone accident is one of the recorded histories and it needs to happen, and he reveals himself as Katagaki from 10 years in the future. Meaning the current Katagaki is living in a world of recorded history. Future Katagaki tells him that his objective is to get Katagaki a girlfriend. At first, he is skeptical, but the man shows him how he is accessing the record from real life and can alter his avatar's form as he likes. The next day, Katagaki starts to observe the girl she is supposed to be together with, Ruri. Unlike Katagaki, Ruri is very decisive and doesn't care about how others think of her. In the school bathroom, Katagaki tells his future self that Ruri is not really his type and prefer other cuter girl. But he doesn't accept that and tries to prove that Ruri is also cute like the others. However, upon seeing Ruri at the library, Future Katagaki is stunned and starts to shed tears. At the rooftop, Future Katagaki tells him that in three months, Ruri will pass away after being struck down by lightning. Which is why he intends to cause a chain reaction to the entire records with Ruri still alive. Despite it not changing anything in real life, Future Katagaki just wants to see her smile and live in the Alltale records. Due to him unable to access the record physically, he requests the help of the current Katagaki in the record. To make it easier to communicate, young Katagaki starts to call his future self Sensei. Using his authority, Sensei gives him a glove called God Design. It enables him to rewrite the world and create anything he wants. The next day, they start to train using the device as he needs the knowledge necessary to create anything he wants. Sensei also starts to instruct Katagaki's every move to get him closer to Ruri. Everything seems to be going well, and Katagaki also seems to like Ruri more now. However, Sensei begin to observe the movement of Altal's security system but is still not doing much. At school, the library committee is planning to have a used book bazaar, and Sensei tells him to go help with gathering the used books. They both look everywhere but seem to find nothing. As a last resort, Ruri decides to donate her grandfather's old books collection to the bazaar. When they rest while moving the books, Ruri asks him about his favorite books, a question that Sensei had never told him before, causing him to panic. But he answers honestly, telling her about his love of sci-fi books and the feeling of immersing himself in the books. Ruri can also relate to that feeling, 
causing them to bond even more. The library committee also helps out moving the books to school. However, at night the books are all burned due to an accident, causing Ruri to feel very sad. Sensei knows about it and let it happen because it is a critical point that needs to happen as Katagaki will cheer her up, and they will get closer due to it. But Katagaki still tries to recreate the books using God design. He struggles to create the books as he doesn't know their contents, but Sensei also starts to help him despite his initial reluctance. Due to his efforts, he manages to recreate some of the books, and the bazaar can still go on. Though unfortunately, he passed out of exhaustion. He wakes up after the event with Ruri sitting in the room. Katagaki confesses to her, and she happily and a little awkwardly accepts. The next day, Katagaki also finishes his god design training by creating a miniature sun. The day of the lightning strike comes. While they are planning the rescue of Ruri, Katagaki is surrounded by the all-tail security system in the form of fox policemen. Katagaki starts to fight them using a book he creates using god design. Despite all the struggle, Katagaki manages to save Ruri from the lightning by creating some sort of black hole. When the two of them are about to kiss after the horrifying moment, the god design transforms into a sort of prison that captures Ruri inside it. Sensei then tells him that the real reason he came is to take Ruri at that exact moment as the lightning strike so that he can revive the real Ruri, who is currently brain dead in the real world. And the plan succeeds, with Ruri finally opening her eyes in the real world, surprising all the doctors there. However, this left Katagaki confused and didn't know what to do. He goes to Ruri's house only to see it completely corrupted in the system and is then confronted by the Fox Polices. Sensei, who is an employee at Alltail in the real world, then goes to the Alltail control station and is told about the corrupted file in the record. They have no other choice but to do recovery, which is basically like doing a force restart to the computer. Inside the Alltail, Katagaki tries his best to avoid all the Fox police. Meanwhile, Sensei starts to think of all he's been through to get to this point. He has done hundreds of trials to access the Alltail records, causing multiple injuries to his body. While escaping the Fox Polices, Katagaki falls into the Data Erasure Aurora but is instead transported to a scene like the ones we can see in Doctor Strange or Ant-Man movies. He then stops somewhere together with the crow from before who can speak. The crow transforms back into God Design to help Katagaki get Ruri back. Meanwhile, Ruri begins to realize that Sensei is not the Katagaki she knows because that Ruri has the consciousness of Ruri from the records. During the confusion, the Fox Polices suddenly show up, and apparently, Sensei's world is also a world record by Alltail. They start to attack Ruri as they identify her as a foreign object. Out of nowhere, the young Katagaki shows up with God Design and saves Ruri from them. With the help of God Design, Katagaki escapes from the hospital after hitting Sensei so hard in the face. Sensei got a call from the Alltail Control Center that the Fox Police were rapidly appearing from the Alltail. With high expertise in using God Design, Katagaki tries his best to save Ruri from them, and luckily, Sensei also shows up to save them. They arrive at a train station, and Katagaki creates a portal so that they can return to their world. Ruri then bids goodbye to Sensei as she can tell how much he loves her. When Ruri walks down the stairs leading to her home, he tells her that he loves her while crying. Then it comes Katagaki's turn to go back. However, the system starts to go crazy and combine into a huge entity. Katagaki tries his best to get rid of them, but the attacks are still going on, getting crazier over time. Sensei asks Katagaki to erase him as it is the only way to stop the system. It is because they are being read as duplicate data of the same person, which is why the system is still attacking them. Katagaki refuses to do it, and they start to get flashbacks of their time together. However, he still couldn't stop the barrages of attacks from the system and Sensei sacrificed himself to save him. At the same time, the scientists managed to shut down the Alltail system manually. The system shuts down, and Katagaki returns to a new world recreated after the last system restarts together with Ruri. 
they start to kiss right after they see each other again. Meanwhile, in Sensei's world, the all tail completely disappears. At the end of the film, adult Katagaki wakes up and sees Ruri smiling in tears and immediately hugs him. And the place zooms out, showing that they are currently at a facility located on the moon. So that concludes the recap of Hello World. What do you guys think? Confusing, right? But the story is really amazing. It's a pure love story set in a futuristic world, highlighting the power of perseverance and selflessness. While it might make no sense at some point, the story is not something anybody would have ever imagined. The animation also gives us some clues about the story itself, with the unique 3D animation style representing the recorded past, while the last scene in 2D signifies the real world. Overall, it's one of the good movies that I've seen in a while, and I would highly recommend it to anyone. Please tell us what you think through the comment section. If you like this content, please leave us a like and share them with your friends. Thank you for watching, until we see you again.